Internal Affairs Minister Jan Tanetti is with me now from Tauranga. Minister, what do you make of what you've seen tonight? Look, thanks for having me here, Rebecca, tonight. I find that incredibly concerning. And in fact, I've said when I heard about this that I find it really distressing. 28 hours, Minister, is far too long to be spending at a pokey machine. These are serious breaches, aren't they? Look, I absolutely agree with you. 28 hours is far too long to be spending at a pokey machine. Uh, we know that pokey machines cause the biggest amount of harm out of any gambling in this country, and that's just not acceptable. Absolutely not acceptable. And yet the, uh, the uh, casino minister has not faced any consequences. Why not? So that's where I would expect that the, the regulator steps up to the marks and works with the casino at that point in time to uh, get things better. I would expect that uh, the casino themselves put harm minimisation as an absolute priority. We have to ensure that we are keeping people safe in this country from gambling harms, and that is something that is an absolute priority to me. So it is something that I have asked my officials for advice around, and I want to have some further conversations with the regulators in this space. It is operational but I feel that I need to have some answers here. Well, these are serious breaches that have been identified by your own ministry here. So why aren't there any consequences for Sky City for the breaches that we've seen in that report? So absolutely, and that's why I want those, those answers myself, and that's exactly what I'm finding out from my officials, to find out exactly uh, what are the consequences for that sort of, uh, those sort of infringements. It is not good enough. Uh, it is something that, I, as I said, I find completely distressing, but it is something that I know that my job is to look at the legislation and the regulations to see how well that they are working for uh, gambling harm prevention and minimisation in this country. Is it also your job, Minister, to call in Sky City and speak with them directly? Yeah, so that's... That's the discussion that I will be having with officials. I've asked for information around this and I am waiting for further information from my officials. Minister, if the um, ministry can't sort of um, monitor the big players in this industry, then what chance do you have of monitoring the smaller uh, places where these machines are used, like pubs, for example? So last week I announced a consultation around uh, the harm minimisation and prevention of people using pokey machines in pubs and clubs and TAB New Zealand venues. Uh, those are exactly the sorts of conversations that I want to hear from people around how we can minimise the harm in these particular venues. As I've said, we know that this causes a lot of harm. I am passionate about minimising this harm. We all know people who have been impacted in this way. We all know the harm that gambling can cause, the impacts on individuals, whānau, communities, and we can be doing better. So I'm looking at changes that can be made to regulations, uh, that can be instantly made to regulations to make sure that they are strong enough. Uh, that's, that's where I want to lean into, and I urge anyone to have an input into that consultation, which is open right now. The document itself is on DIA's website or you can just simply Google consultation uh, pokey machines New Zealand and you'll find it. it'll be the first hit that you come across. Minister, just finally uh, and um, quickly on this as well, how much harm is acceptable to you? No harm is acceptable to me and that's why I'm absolutely passionate about leaning into this space. We can do better and we will do better and I'm absolutely making it a priority that we work through this and make inst have instant solutions for our communities here in this country. We will be watching closely. Minister for Internal Affairs, Jan Tanetti, thank you. Thank you.